On today's episode of The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly, I'll be looking at the Nick Collection. This is Nick Color Effects Understanding the Glamour Glow Filter. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Thank you so much for joining me today. On today's episode, it's the Nick Collection. Today, I want to look at one of everyone's favorite Nick filters, and that is Glamour Glow. Now, Glamour Glow is a great filter. It gives you that nice, dreamy look. It really works great for landscape photography and wedding photography. In fact, I have an example right here. This image Okay, this is before Glamour Glow, and this is after Glamour Glow, but you see how it gives it that nice, dreamy look. So wedding photographers love this, but it's more than just something you can use on wedding photography. It's great for landscapes. It's great for all types of different photography, and it's a filter that I really like to use a lot because it gives you some really nice, creative effects. By the way, if you don't yet have the Nick Collection, I'll leave my affiliate link in the description below this video. You can just click on it. It'll take you here. You could download a free trial or you could buy it. If you use my affiliate link, I make a small commission, and that helps me to keep these YouTube tutorials coming your way. And I thank you when you use my affiliate links. Let's start out by taking a look at the user's guide for the Nick Collection. And under the filter Glamour Glow, this is what you're going to find. Now, this filter provides portrait photographers with a powerful tool to stylize images with soft and dreamlike effects. And you can see the image on the left compared to the image on the right. Very cool. But you know what? It's more than that. I wish they would say it's not just for portrait photographers. It's for landscape photographers as well. Landscape photographers love Glamour Glow. Absolutely. Now let's take a look at Glow. It lets you control to what extent the filter softening technique is applied. And we'll be looking at all this. So there's basic adjustments here. There's a saturation adjustment. Of course, it just adjusts the overall vividness of the colors to the right and gradually fades the colors to the left. And then we have glow warmth, which is very important in this filter. We can either cool the image down or we could warm the image up. And I'll show you that. And then, of course, with all Nick filters, we have shadow and highlight protection, which is very important. In this filter, you're going to find that you're going to be using the shadow and highlight um, adjustments to really hone in your glamour glow effect. It's very useful with this filter. Well, let's go ahead and take glamour glow for a spin. Now, I have this image of these fall leaves, and it's a nice dreamy image already. But what if I could add some more dream and glow to this? I think it would be really beautiful. So let's launch the Nick Collection Color Effects Pro. So we could come up here to File, come to Automate. And here, if you don't have your Nick Selective Tool opened up, you can come right here and click. And that opens up your Nick Selective Tool. And inside of here, you have all your Nick Collection filters. And here is Color Effects Pro 5. And see this little triangle here? You can open this up. And if you have any filters that were favorited or presets, you can get them all right here, which is really nice to get to something really quick. And I happen to have Glamour Glow favorited because it is one of my favorites. All I need to do is click on it, and that will launch Color Effects Pro. And we'll come right to the Glamour Glow filter, and that is really fast and really easy. If you don't have it favorited, you see over here where it says all, here's all of your 55 filters. And you could break this down to like, they have like architecture, color, detail, contrast, business. And then you have favorites. You could filter this out by favorites. If you click favorites, here's all my favorite filters. And these are the ones that show up in the Nick Selective tool. So that's kind of nice. And I highly recommend that you use that Nick Selective tool in that way. That way, the filters that you use all the time, they're really easy to get to. Now, let me show you how to favorite a filter. Let me click on favorites. And now we see all our filters again. See these little stars? They're kind of not lit up here. Whenever you click on one of these, now that becomes your favorite filter, and that will show up in the Nick Selective tool. So that's how you do it. Let me click on my favorites again. Now let's go to Glamour Glow. And you see this little triangle here? If you click it, you can see different presets inside of here. And all you need to do is click on one. So if I like this strong glow, I can click it. And there you can see there's that strong glow. 
If we come over to the right side of the interface, here's the Glamour Glow filter, and you can see that strong glow is using 100% glow. Now you could alter this if you want, and then you could save that as a preset. Just give it a name. And those presets will live in this area right here. If you click on it, you'll see all your presets. But I'm not gonna use a preset for this filter today. And by the way, to reset this filter, if you click right here with these two arrows, one up and one down, just click on that and you can reset the filter, keep local adjustments or delete local adjustments like control points. So I don't have any control points, so it doesn't matter which one of these I click, but I'll just click it and it resets it to the default setting. And this is the default glow setting. I like to start out with a glow adjustment. So what I'm going to do is just give myself a lot more glow and stop where you like it. And I like that right there. That's pretty nice. And this is a nice fall scene. So what about a little bit more saturation? So let's give it a little bit more saturation. You know, maybe somewhere right around there. I like that. Now we could either cool this down if we move the glow warmth slider to the left. And we could make it look more ominous, you know, more like uh, eerie looking. But if we move it to the right and warm it up, we make it more inviting. A little bit more happy. So I think I like a little bit of warmth in this one. So right around here. Now, here's what I was saying about the shadow and highlights being a really good tool inside of this filter. Because you see how these shadows have gotten really dark. So if I want to open those up a little bit, I can move this to the right and just bring some, make them a little lighter, not, not as contrasty. So somewhere around there looks pretty good. And if your highlights are getting too overdone, too light, you could take this slider and drag it to the right and kind of subdue those. Or if you move it to the left, you can make those highlights really start to glow, depending what you want. But I think I may just subdue them just a little wee bit. Now here is the before and here is after, but doesn't that make quite a difference? As I said, this is a very easy filter to use. That's why I don't really use presets on it. I really like to adjust it to what my eye likes. I just look at it and I start with glow and then I can either give it some saturation or take some saturation out. You could work with the uh, glow warmth, you know, cool it down or warm it up a bit and then just adjust your shadow and highlight to taste. And then you have this opacity slider. If you want to ease back on the effect, you could pull it back right here. I don't like to do that because I'm working out of Photoshop. And if I need to, I'd rather be a little bit stronger. And this way in Photoshop, I can just take the layer opacity back. In fact, I might just give it a little extra glow. I would rather err on the side of too much glow. And then I can just back it off in Photoshop. Now, we could come up here and just click left click with your mouse and hold you can see there's your before and here's your after or you could click right here and see the before and after now we could keep adding more filters here if we wanted to but i'm just taking this one filter at a time so we can really understand how these filters work and we also have this split screen which is really nice you can take this and you can drag it across and see the before and after that way or you could do a comparison view like this and if you click right here you can get different looks for that comparison view. And if you click right here, you go back to the full view. Well, then I think my work is done here in Color Effects Pro. So I'm just gonna click apply and that'll send us back to Photoshop. And here we are in Photoshop. Usually what I like to do, as you can see here, we have the Nick Selective tool and it's pretty big and it gets in the way. So you can either click here and minimize it or click the X and just get rid of it. I won't be using it for a while, so I'm just gonna get rid of it for now. And you can always open it back up if you need it. Let's check out where we started from. So here's our Glamour Glow layer. And you notice Nick labels your layer for you, which is nice. I'm gonna shut this layer off. There's the before. Nice image, but here's the after. I think it looks a whole lot better. And again, with the opacity here, I can, if I feel it's too strong, I can just ease back on this opacity a little bit. But you know what? I like it up full strength. I think that looks really cool. But that's the Glamour Glow Filter. If you want that dreamy, glowy effect, like I said, it's great for landscapes. It's great for portraits. Wedding photographers love it. It's good for all kind of stuff. So give it a try if you haven't done it yet.
Well, there it is, everyone. That was the Glamour Glow Filter found in Nick Color Effects Pro, part of the Nick Collection. Hey, if you enjoyed the video today, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please do that and click the bell notification icon. Every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing!